The capital city of Triskelion is under siege. Four factions vie for dominance in what was a prosperous center of industry. Only one force will emerge victorious, though, and claim this perfect staging ground for further conquest. Welcome to 40K in 40 Minutes Championships. Welcome, folks, to our third invitational 40K in 40 Minutes Championship Series. To wrap up each of our seasons on YouTube, we've invited back some fan favorites and thrown them together in a four-game mini-tournament to see who emerges as this year's champion. Will it be the resilient Death Guard, piloted by Child of Chaos, Tycho Imiga? Can the Orcs run by Mr. Initiative James Jones wog hard enough? Will the Necrons and Michael Buckthorpe see his luck return? Or is it truly the year of Steve and his Astral Claws? I'm your host, JT McDowell, and joining us as well is Town Nick Freeze. Hey there, glad to be here. This is shaping up to be a heck of a championship. Oh, is it ever? You bet it is. And one thing I really like how we're doing, it's been really cool to see, is how we're doing the scoring this year. It's a little bit different. It's not necessarily the player that won both his games. Right. Who you play in round two will depend on who won the previous game, but the overall winner is the combined score from both games. Which means even if you lost your first game, you're not out of the running. Score high enough, and if your, your opponents score low enough in their following game, you can still win this. Exactly. All four players are going to have to push hard, not let up, and focus on scoring as many points as they possibly can. Oh, this is going to be an exciting ride. Ready for this? Oh yeah, baby! Four players, four games, one champion. Special thanks to this second round championship sponsor, Cronlek. Makers of fine miniatures as well as this amazingly detailed terrain, we are always pleased to be able to showcase their product. Make sure to check them out at cromlech.eu and be sure to tell them PlayOn sent you. This round sees James, Mr. Initiative Jones square off against Space Marine Steve in a round two bracket that both are looking to bounce back from first round losses. Hey, this is Space Marine Steve from PlayOn Tabletop and I am Excited to be in this round of the finals against James. Uh, as you may or may not have known, my last game did not go very well, but uh, I'm hoping to make it up in this game. Steve has brought his Astro Claws again and is fielding a fairly straightforward Space Marine style list. He has an Apothecary, Lieutenant, and Primaris Captain leading three squads of Intercessors, a nine man and two five mans, a squad of Reavers, a Redemptor Dread, and an Invader ATV, two squads of Hellblasters, and an Impulsor. So what I'm hoping, fingers crossed, is that they will have a really low scoring game and that I will crush James and have an incredibly high scoring game and uh, come on the victor. Put my name on that flippin' plaque. I'm feeling fantastic. I've been on the channel so much now, I feel like I might as well be a member of the team. James has countered with some seriously killy characters in his orc vanguard and battalion. Death Skulls are the order of the day, with a Beast Boss on Squigasaur, War Boss in Mega Armor, a Weird Boy, Pain Boy, and a Mech, all leading two squads of Burna Boys, two squads of Tank Busters, and two squads of Commandos. He's got two squads of Gretchen for his meat shields, while his Mega Armored knobs pack a real punch. His two trucks and Diff Roll a Battle Wagon should provide some protection for moving up the board with his infantry. I'm feeling like I have a really great chance playing against Steve. A great chance to have a great game because I love Steve and you know what? At just ending the season off playing him is like, it's a dream come true for me. This is the magic. Now. This round's game is Vital Intelligence from the GT 2021 Handbook. Six primary objectives are placed on the table and players will score five for holding two, five more for holding three, and another five for holding more than their opponent to a maximum of 15 per turn and 45 for the game. For secondary objectives, Steve has chosen Assassinate, scoring points for killing James' characters, Oath of Moment, a Space Marine-specific secondary, and Raise Banners, scoring points for performing actions on objectives. James has chosen Retrieve Octarius Data, scoring points for performing an action in the four table quarters, Engage on all fronts, scoring points for having units in three or four table quarters, and the biggest and the best, an orc-specific secondary for killing units with his war boss. Orcs are the bane of space marines. Steve's going down. I'm going to start by deploying these five commandos. Mm, here we go. Uh, just on the other side of this building. I don't like that. The keys to success for me today are, number one, I've got to move my models when I'm supposed to move them onto objectives, as well as, you know, for engage on all fronts, that's a thing.
James has forward deployed his commandos to score some early engage and retrieve data points. Otherwise, it's a fairly straightforward orky deployment. I want to put the grots in the building. Oh, there we go. Step number two, don't let Steve score because, you know, we just love adding insult to injury. Guys inside. But on the bottom floor? Bottom floor, yeah. Gotcha, okay. Steve's deployed in a fairly standard ultramarine castle with his invader on his flank to bring some pressure. Definitely looks set to defend versus James' incoming horde. Here inside the building, the bottom route. level. And uh, the third key to success would definitely be to fan out and uh, just score that primary. It's a tougher mission, but I gotta get it done. So Steve has done what he needs to do for deployment. He's deployed in a castle. Now, can he play to his strengths here? You know, my only concern with his deployment is that James has got a much wider deployment. That's true. That forward deploy capability is, is huge. He's really kind of wrapping Steve up here. Steve's got to be careful. I don't know if he's got enough on his left flank with that invader and those units. I don't know if he's got enough to push out of that hole. He's going to have to really, really focus and really pick his targets here. Careful, Steve. Do you want to go first or second? What do you actually want? It doesn't matter what I want, dude. I'm Mr. Initiative. I'm gonna win this roll off and I have to go first. It's a five. Just just a shrug. Roll a huh. six to get me now. It's a four. You know what? I'm okay. I'm not gonna use the redeploy. I'm gonna save my command points for other stuff. So uh, I'm good, dude. You can uh, enjoy your first turn. Let's have a good game, friend. Yes. James, have a good one. Thank you, Steve. As long as the other guys don't score well, and I can score really well against Steve. I think I can do this. James' turn ticks up from five to six command points. So I'm just gonna put them here. Absolutely. But they're actually on the bottom floor. Yeah, they need to be up there or I'll forget that they're there at all. I see James didn't forget his commandos this he time. Didn't. In fact, they put them on top of the building so he wouldn't forget <laughs> about them. Good job, James! He hasn't fully committed with his movement phase here, but he looks to be set up to charge hard on turn two. I actually wouldn't be surprised if that's the turn he calls the walk. Do you mind if I advance his battle wagon? Yeah, that's fine. For five. Actually, you know what? I want to rod with those commandos. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's go into the psychic phase. Here uh, we he's go. Still in the in the battle wagon, so okay. psychic phase over. Let's do uh, some shooting. Here we I'm are. I'm gonna start with these tank busters in this truck. Okay. Are going to unleash through the forest into the. All right, sounds good. The big so boy. Into your minus Man. one to to hit him because of the forest. That is correct. And you moved anyways. So they're all heavy weapons, so you're on, on sixes right now, right? It, yeah, it would have normally I would hit you on fours because you're a vehicle. Yeah. But it's minus two, which puts me on sixes. Six. Sixes. Is there one? Yeah, I got one. It wounds. Five up. I don't get it. Three flat. So Three two. whole damage. So it goes to two. I have eleven remaining. Ah, uh, so seven tank busters into the big boy again. Sure. Five. Three. <laughs> One. Nope. Cut through. Go to nine remaining. Uh, the trucks themselves will shoot, so uh, this one will shoot its big shooter. Uh, you know what, let's just keep working on them. I failed them both. Love it, Steve. Great. Thanks, Thanks buddy. This is just awesome. I failed everything so far. Yeah, the, this truck here is going to shoot. Where does he bracket it? Six? Uh, yeah. I'm going to try to bracket him. Well, here. I imagine it'll probably kill him. I... <laughs> Killing him. Uh, I don't hit. Okay, well, some that's, blue, though. that's good. No, no. you're fine. Yeah. Oh, the Redemptor! He's taking a ton of damage. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that that is really a key unit in Steve's army. Not only can it give him Wisdom of the Ancients for rerolls, but it also is a big shooting platform. Oh, it's got tons of guns. That Macro Plasma Accelerator is one of the key things he needs to be able to take down the Battle Wagon and some of the Meganops. So yeah, uh, it's hurt. It's hurt, but he's still in the fight. Nothing killed in James' first turn. However, he's put a bit of hurt on the Redemptor and has engaged for two and performed a retrieve action. On to Steve's turn one. Up to 11 command points now for Steve. Spending one right away on Wisdom of the Ancients, giving his Redemptor Dread the ability to dish out some rerolls. Both trucks have the same uh, the same uh, carriage inside. Right, They've got a, uh, seven tank busters right. and five um, Burna Boys. All Death Skulls, OPSEC. Yeah, it's, it's gnarly, they don't OPSEC. Mm -hmm. Steve is also spending a command point on Squad Doctrines. That moves his nine man intercessors into the Tactical Doctrine, leaves him with nine command points remaining. And then, 
Uh, we're gonna move with the nine-man unit, and they're gonna advance. Uh, and I get, so it's one, woo, plus, woo, plus one, so I go to down, eight. Speedy. And uh, I'm not gonna touch this crater. We're just gonna stay. This army looks freaking amazing. I know, Siege did such a good job, it's ridiculous. So then, uh, it actually works the for second me squad. I wanted to destroy something beautiful today. Oh my. Another oh, one yeah. on the advance. Uh, yeah. Still rolling so hot. Yeah, putting up a jump shield. Then the squad behind them, the intercessors are gonna run. Five, thank you for six. At the end of my movement phase, I will raise banners with my apothecary. Is there any way for me to take your uh, banners down? Uh, yep, is uh, you have to you have to control the objective. Okay. Fair enough. Intercessors, and they're going to shoot into the truck. Okay. I'm going to crack grenade with the grenade launcher first. Rerolling ones because I'm within that aura. Okay. So three rerolling ones. Rerolling <laughs> ones. Another one. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Dude. I should have has spoken. Oh man. Oh. My threes rerolling ones. Much better. Nah, there it is. There oh, it is. Oh. All right. I just need that for wounds now. Oh! Yeah. Nice roll, buddy. That was nice. It's all coming back to me now. Okay, at, and at they're minus one because you put them in the attack doctrine? Correct, yeah. Beautiful. All right, so looking for fives. And I truck down to f -f -f five. So the five man squad of intercessors is going to do the exact same thing. Sounds good. So, uh, crack grenade. So another five up. Oh! Oh, you're fine. See that thing come back from the dead. Three rolling ones. Six four ups. So it's three remaining. Three remaining. The Impulsor is gonna shoot uh, the truck, which is with everything. Okay. Guy Talon Array. Sixes. Here we are. I no. saved none. So he dies. Just a bunch of ones. So one guy in there is gonna die. So the Redemptor Dreadnought is going to shoot everything into the uh, truck that's over there holding that objective. You bet. Um, so I'll overcharge the plasma. So D6 shots with the plasma first for two whole shots. I will command point reroll this. Down to eight command points now to reroll the number of shots there from a two to a one. Oh no, Steve's luck continues. Continue. I even, I spent a command point for that. So on threes, rerolling once. I rolled a one. Thank goodness I get this reroll. <laughs> Wounds, AP minus five, D3 shots with the rocket. So three damage, you said? One whole shot with the rocket. This is awful. And I don't hit you because I rolled a two. Gatling gun. Rerolling all of those ones and twos into more ones and twos. Love it. Loving it. Loving it. I wound you two times, AP minus two. Into this truck? Yeah. Sixes. I save you one. You save one, and you take a wound. Okay. Okay. Down to six? Yeah. That checks out. And then the, uh, <laughs> and then the uh, eight Invader ATV will shoot all of its weapons into the truck. Here we are. One wounds at AP minus five. Yep. Come on, uh, baby. Just, so D6 plus two damage. Yep. For four. four. At strength eight, right? At strength eight, yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna start. Down to two. The stupid. Volt guns. I, I miss you mostly. I wound you no times. <laughs> they were bolt guns. <laughs> tell, tell me again, well, Steve, about how great bolt guns good are. Good game, guys. <laughs> uh, okay, so then uh, the damage. Yeah, the intercessors will shoot it, well, I guess. maybe they should shoot the battle wagon. No, they're not going to shoot the battle wagon. <laughs> I believe in I Steve. I believe in, in Steve. Steve. I believe on threes. Oh, one's out of the box. It, it doesn't make it. Oh, I got to yeah. kill the dudes first. Bunch of ones this time, Steve. Hopefully. Just, just for you, buddy. Please. Uh, zero this time. Oh, come on. Did force. these guys shoot yet? Yeah, they that's what they just Right, did. they just killed it. I was hopeful that the multi melta ATV would finish it off and then I could shoot the dudes like that dropped out with those guys. Oh 
Oh man. I know. Tough choices. Actually, yeah, there, is, there actually are uh, quite a few tough choices right now. Two command points here on rapid fire to shoot again. Takes him down to six command points. The five man unit of intercessors over there and they're gonna shoot into the tank busters. Yeah. I made two. Oh, it's only three of them. Uh, and then the invader ATV is going to charge into the four burner boys. No, no, no. Should, should, wait, wait, should I do it? Well, you but do I have the custom Mega Blast too. You know what? I should overwatch you. Really? I, should overwatch I, don't, you. I don't actually think it's a call. Yeah, it is. Because you only have six. Okay, you say so. I have so. to, I have to. All right, here we go. Four, four D6. D6 auto hits. That's okay. It's the custom Mega Blaster I actually care about. If it can hit you one time, it's gonna be madness. <laughs> or I could just spike really, really hard, dude. Yep. And I take three damage. I have five wounds remaining. Okay, and then D3 shots from the custom Mega Blaster. Okay. One Just draws. one. On six. On six. No, no. Okay. He didn't kill himself either, so that's good. Oh, I am lucky in blue. Thank you. Oh, and it hits. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Three. Yep. Six up. No. For four damage. One remaining. Six up. Come on in. So I'm six, seven, eight, nine minus two, seven. Yep, you're good. Come on, Steve. Fight, fight with your. Uh, yep. Uh, so come I on, get, Super uh, Mario. Five attacks on threes. Fives. Nope. Lose a burner boy. So fighting back with the uh, the burn boys. He oh he lives! Look at that! I survived. Did it. It you happened. did it. I Steve. did it. James is gonna score 15 primary coming up here. That's absolutely massive. Steve doesn't have the board presence at the moment to take that. So if James plays this right, Steve's not gonna get any points on primary, and that could be big. Steve's gotta work really hard to make yeah. sure that doesn't happen. Yeah. And a one, and we have a dead heat, folks. Two to two as we head into the second turn. Big 15 on primary and another command point to James to take him up to six. All right, let's do this, man. Right, Turn two. Do so. A good game so far. Feeling yeah, it? Feeling pretty good. It's all right. Feeling pretty so good. You can go, my man. I'm going to have the Grotz jump out. I'm going to advance with the Burna Boys. They rolled a four. These grots are going to advance for an extra three. The craters, there's only going eight. This is gonna move to here. Okay, that sounds good. That's gonna be my movement phase done. Let's do some shooting. Okay, here we go. So I will start with uh, these tank buses here are going to unload into the Redemptor Dreadnought again. Sounds good. Oh, and they're gonna let the bomb squig go into here. So here, let's just do a bomb squig now. Huh. On a three. D3 mortals. For two. For two, kills a dude. Okay, oh. and then four D3 rockets into that Redemptor. There we are. I had, to move. I had to move to get range. <sighs> Fails to wound. Loving it. Now we'll do these tank busters into the uh, impulsor. Into the impulsor. Sounds good. Oh, oh. oh boy. Those will be on threes, fives. And I, oh you yeah, make three. I make four of them. Oh, better. So six damage goes through. Uh, the grots here. Oh, fear the grots, Steve, for they are going to shoot into your intercessors here. Thank goodness. That would have been embarrassing for everyone. So uh, let's go into the charges. Okay. This battle wagon is going to charge into the nine man unit. Is that the one right in that the front? That's the nine man unit, yeah. And you know what? I don't, I'm not gambling on this one. So uh, let's put a ramming speed on it. Salt phase looks to be a big one for James here and his favorite stratagem ramming speed for two command points takes him down to four. Steve responds with defensive focus and overwatch for three command points into that seal of oath target. All the rerolls makes this not a bad command point spend at all. So the Dreadnought will start. He'll overcharge with his big gun and shoot in. So D6 big shots. CP spend. But if it works, it's going to be glorious. Okay. D6 shots with the Macroplasma Incinerator. Four of them. Nothing. Okay, it's fine. It's still good. It's still good. It's still good. One, one hit. Not one. bad. It's not bad. Not bad. On threes. Five up in bone. You make it. Okay. Yeah, of course I do. So D3 shots with the rocket. Two shots on sixes. Rerolling. Nope. So one hit on fives. Rerolling. One AP minus two. 
Oh, no, sorry, AP minus one. I apologize. I, this, I didn't make still it. Still does it anyways. So, uh, How much damage? Two damage. Gatling cannon. Uh, no sixes. Rerolling. Fives. Rerolling. Four up. Get it. And then uh, 2d6 shots from the rockets. One AP minus one. Four up. Nope, Takes that it. one too. How Hit. much damage? One. The friggin' lieutenant on sixes. Rerolling. Nope. Uh, not bad so far, Steve. You've only you've only spent one CP per wound. Not That's bad. It's true. At all. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's all right. We're still working our way to the big squad. Everything's fine. So on sixes. Sure. All righty. On sixes. Rerolling. Is the, if I didn't have the seal of oath here, I wouldn't do this. But because I have the seal of oath, I'm willing to chance it. So two AP minus ones. Four ups. Make them both. Oh, that's too bad. Four more. Dude. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what's happening. So I took four wounds in total, bringing 16 down to 12. Oh God. I was hoping the plasma macro incinerator thing would get at least a couple, but uh, no. <laughs> uh, all right, come on in, crater. I got a 10 there. Sure. Like a glove. So I finished my charge here. So now on a two plus, you're gonna eat some mortal wounds okay. from ramming speed. Uh, I got a four, so yes, it's happening. Good. D3 good. mortals, it's so good. It's not. Two. Two. Six up, feel no pain from the apothecary. Mortal wounds on the charge, kills a model, and the battle wagon manages to kill two Marines. Uh, so then I'm gonna select the invader ATV over there to fight. Of course. And the invader ATV is gonna go into the burner boys. I make one. Stop making six up. Now I'm going to uh, fight back with those guys, I guess. Sure. James is spending a command point here on cutting flames. Those burners will be attacking at AP minus two now, and that drops him to three left. On three, five. Nice. Thank God I got one. AP two. Come on, baby, you can do this for me. Just do it, don't, please. Don't do it. Do it. I spent command points on do this, it. it can't happen. Don't Emperor, do it, Emperor, take the wheel. No. Oh, he does! The Emperor grabs hold and steers me clear of the ravine. Uh, the um, power fist first on fours, re-rolling. Yep, good Go thing. Go seal of oath, all of them. Nice, Alrighty, nice. on three, oh, sorry, on fours. Oh, none of them. Re-rolling. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh, 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 one oh. of them. AP? It's brutal. Of which you make. Of course, because it's in the box. Where Tack put the magnet underneath, that's why I have the black dice. They have it's really, really, really bad. Can you pass me that dice back? Actually, don't. Don't, 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 don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. In fact, don't touch it is what you're saying. Just some slip. Out of wagon. These sixes. Oh, no. I four failed damage. four of them. How? Why? What a good turn two for James. Huge, oh my goodness. Huge turn. You know, he's managed to score four for Retrieve Octarius Data because he's done it in two quarters. He's got his engage points, which we knew that was gonna happen. But 15 on primary is really the difference right now. Steve needs to score primary and he doesn't have the board presence to do he's it. He's gonna score zero this turn. He's gonna score zero. James has shut him out and wrapped him up and that is trouble. Steve needs to press out now and if he doesn't, he's gonna be hard up against him. He's gonna spend two on fallback and re-engage here. He's gonna be able to shoot for those two command points, takes him down to two, but that's costing himself another Oath of Moment point. So then a, my unit of uh, Hellblasters are gonna jump out here from the Impulsor. Uh, the Reavers are gonna advance. They go two, three, so nine. So the end of my movement phase, my unit of Hellblasters are going to pop in here. Unit's gotta be within an inch of the back of the board. Uh, so I'm gonna shoot uh, the uh, Assault Carbines into Grots in the in the, on that objective in the middle over there. Okay, yep. Well, here he's two we'll Grots, bite it. Uh, I'm gonna take these Hellblasters. Mm, they're all going to just shoot into here. Three rolling. Five up invulns. I made one, wow. two, three. Five of them cut through. So put me down to three wounds left. Uh, the intercessor's in the back, so the five man squad is gonna shoot into it. Sounds good. Four ups. Oh, he uh, you got it. He dies. No grots to protect him. This is where I roll a bunch of ones and lose all my mega knobs. Yeah, it'd be awesome. Please, please. Oh, I see oh, at least one. You got one, you got one. I got one. So one Mega Knob's gonna bark it. So then, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this unit of Hellblasters. Okay. They're all gonna overcharge and go into the Mega Knobs. Oh boy, those Mega Knobs are in trouble. Three, zero, and ones, zero, and ones. 
Yeah, they are. So, so each I, of these kills. Yeah, the ice. Them. No more Mega Knobs. Uh, Impulsor, and it's gonna shoot everything into the Pain Boy. I don't make them. Uh, so two wounds go into him? Yeah. I believe he has four, so that would put him on two. So then, uh, what I'm going to do uh, is I am going to take the Macroplasma Incinerator off the Dread, overcharge it, and shoot it into the boss, your okay. war boss. Then I'm going to take all of the other weapons. Uh, let's go, the, let's do the Pain Boy. Okay, I'm going to start with the Pain Boy. Grenades. Once. Three six-ups. Followed by three six-ups. I made two. You made two. So he takes one wound. One wound. Uh, Gatling cannon. He's dead. He's dead. And then a D6 shots off the Macroplasma Incinerator. Rerolling with the command point again to get number of shots. No joy. Still only two. One command point left for Steve. So on threes. Three. Three. Is this in the war boss? Yeah, and it misses. It doesn't even... Yeah, uh, you're also minus one to wound him. The six-man squad will shoot into the weird boy. Okay. Grenade launcher. Because it's strength six. Four up invuln. Get He's it? a four up invul? He has, um, what's it called? Uh, super cyborg body. Five. I take three wounds. He has what, one left or two left? Two, I believe he has five wounds now. The four man unit of intercessors over there are gonna shoot everything into the pain boys. No, Ta pain tank boys. busters? Tank busters, sorry, yeah, okay. not pain boys. Two guys just dropped. So I need to roll a six to get this captain into those two characters. Is that with the minus two? Uh, no, 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 that's what I need to, that's not, that's with no augments. Uh, so then I get plus one for being Astral Claws, need to roll a five, minus two, need to roll a seven. Okay. So I need to roll a seven and he's gonna go into both those characters. You betcha, come on in. Overwatch. Did you get it? It's a six. Oh man, Steve's gotta reroll a seven inch charge and he still fails. He's out of command points, oh no. Steve, I'm so sorry. Oh, Seven Steve. inch for rollable charge? You know? Seven inches is more than you think sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's your What's your next charge gonna be, Steve? Uh, the four man unit there is gonna go into the burner boys. You only need a three. You make it. I got an 11. Price. So this going idea. over there, we'll just hit everything into the burner boys. Yep, and you wanna pile into my Tank buses now? Yes, please. Power fist first, force. Three AP minus threes. Three dead uh, burner boys. Sweet. They are gone. And then we'll just push right in and take the objective from you. Then the tank busters uh, fight into my guys. Okay, uh, I will start with the knob. Three. Fail one. Okay, one and hand. then the, boy, uh, the regular tank buster boy hits you one time. Nope, doesn't wound. Okay, taking oh, you these, off these, these brats need to do a leadership test too. So oh, they need right, to roll a yeah. two or less. Surprise, surprise. On one. I rolled another one. Two. Three total are gonna Three run. Three run away? Yeah. Turn two, more bad dice for Steve. Uh, it's just looking better and better for me. My score is running up. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm gonna max my primary almost certainly now. So turn three is really do or die. He needs to push it hard this turn or it's all over. It's, it's done. He needs to clear James off objectives. James is gonna score another 15 here, which is, might put the game out of reach. But if Steve can clear him off and hold, then James can't score. And that's what Steve needs to focus on. James gains the command point now up to four and another massive 15 on primary. The interesting thing here is that James actually does have like stuff he has to think about. I do. Because I have a lot of oomph left on the table and I've removed quite a bit of his like kind of more forward power. advance him. So he's just gonna go this way. Okay, let's do this. It's time. It's time for you know what. <laughs> I'm going to uh, go into my psychic phase now. I'm going to attempt to cast the jump on a Sabbath. Oops, well, it's going off on a seven. I'm gonna cast it on this guy. What's this? That's a sneaky to jump. 
do it a jump, do it a jump, do it a jump. We're trying something funky here. So uh, shooting phase. One burn up into the Hell Blasters. The Redemptor Dreadnought will get the custom Mega Blast up. Flamer into the Hell Blasters. On fours. I wanna, I wanna die. Okay, D3 into the Redemptor. Into the Redemptor. For one shot. Here we are. Uh, hitting him on a five. He hits. Wounding him on a three. Ah, oh, get the reroll because I'm blue. Oh, I don't do it. Fail. The tank buses will fire <laughs> into the impulsor. Yeah. Three shot. Oh. <laughs> I retire as champion. Oops, that. Nope, it's super dice. Does it, it blow up? Please blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up. On a six. Yes! For the fish people! Yeah! Oh, God. <laughs> Steve should have had those uh, models painted as lamenters. I stand by it. Into the Hell Blasters. Two, killing this guy. I want to roll these. No. Uh, into the, the Hell, other Hell Blasters. Blasters. For three. three. Mm -hmm. Feels mm -hmm. good, feels good. Love it. And uh, then this unit back here. For three. Rolling so so well against my own dudes. Yeah, got the units it needed to get. Come down. You're welcome, Nick. Thank I you. willed that to happen with my initiative. The little mech in the back is going to put D3 pistol shots into the dudes in front of him. Watch him slay like he's, three guys. He's out of range of the uh, Redemptor, which was my plan. One he, shot. One shot. Box. Cut. Oh, oh yes, he lives. I'm going to shoot with the war boss here. I'm gonna shoot the, uh, I'll shoot the wounded unit in the back there. Okay, sounds good. Could kill that guy though. No, he doesn't. So shooting phase is done. The uh, okay. war boss there on the uh, squigasaur is gonna charge your leader. Cool. Surprise, surprise, he makes it. Yeah, he does make it. I'm now going to charge with the war boss. He's right. gonna charge the hell blasters and the nine man unit. You can't do anything about it because you okay. have no command points. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna try to charge in with the weird boy into the intercessors on this side. Wow. Okay, check it, check it. Goes through here. Wow. That mech's that gonna charge them reavers. Really? Yeah. Why? Okay, go, just go. Because I'm an orc. I guess, sure. I just don't know why you're doing it. And he makes it. What? Oh, he does. Let's just dive right in. Oh wait, uh, sorry, hold one. up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. Wait. Uh, I am going to heroically intervene at the end of your charge phase with my lieutenant. Not good. Shouldn't have moved in so close. I wanted to tag that robot. Yeah, let's do the war boss. Yeah, so he is gonna dump it all into the nine man squad. Six attacks hitting on twos. Oh my. None. Okay, and then damage. Two damage each. Sounds good. Oh, the intercessors are down. That's big. Um, then I'll do this guy over here. James fighting into the captain now, and he goes down. That's huge. That is a massive game changer right there. Bye bye, captain. The chump. Base ring captain is not what he used to be. Weird boy is going to fight your uh, single intercessor. Yep. I fail all of them. Yep. They're D3s. Yeah, you he's, get, he's you he's got to feel the pain though, right? Uh, no, he's too far away now. So then what else? This guy? Yeah. Uh, you do one damage to one of the Reavers. I'm going to go with the intercessors that are over there going into the tank busters. Okay. So the power fist guy, yep. with fours, one gets through. And then a one to wound. Threes, one oh, wound, AP minus three. Just kills him. Just kills a dude. Mm -hmm. Then into the noob. Six is. I didn't save. He dies. Um, the lieutenant goes into the weird boy and fours. The weird boy's got a reroll of save. James is down to three command points and he lives on a wound. Yes. And then the hell blasters. I go into the war boss. Mm -hmm. The six. Good. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> I scared the crap out of your dice. <laughs> Nothing. This is magic, pure magic. My dice are hot, Steve's are not. Okay, so then these guys. Oh, Reaver. that was the apothecary, right? These are the Reavers. Oh, right. oh no. So what you're saying is there's a chance. On fives. Yeah, there's definitely a chance. Two wounds? Two wounds. Yeah, you're fine. Mech has three wounds, so he's down to one. Hilarious. 
Well, I see how this game's going because as usual, Steve's dice are looking brutal. So uh, all I have to do now is just play smart and hang on and it's, uh, it's all over for him. I'm, I'm taking this thing home. Massive, massive turn for James here. Sees him jump out to a 49 to seven lead. Steve needs a big comeback turn. Let's see if he has it. This is Steve's moment here. He's got to make this turn count. He needs to, yeah. I he believe he can do it. But he's got a lot of work ahead of him. 49 to seven, he's, he's got to push James off some objectives and start killing he's some of those characters. He's going to push all the yeah. objectives. Yeah, he really does. Let's go. Let's go, Steve. Go get him. do it. In this turn, I need to do a couple of things. I need to, one, take James off of at least two objectives. And I think I can do it. He's only got some uh, commandos sitting on one and some grots sitting on another. I think I can actually pull that off. And then I really need to make a dent on those characters. So if I can dent the characters, do a bunch of damage, and charge the Dreadnought into the big, like, claw, fist, metal thing, if I can get rid of that, clear the objectives, I think I might actually have, like, a path to victory. Yeah, raise another banner, Steve. Not a bad idea at all. Score, score, score. I uh, go to my shooting phase. Big swing. The for ATV Steve. is going to send its multi melta into your war boss <laughs> in the mega armor. Okay. And it's going to send its bolters. Bolt. Actually, you know what? No, never split fire. Yeah. Uh, everything is going into the grots. Even, the, got these guys even into the multi. The grots. They put a banner up. Even the multi meltas. All of it's going into the grots. Okay. Uh, so the multi melta on threes, two hits on twos, one wound. So just ice the grot. Use. And then five more wounds to the garage, safety minus one. Should lift them. They Great. Don't. Uh, get off of that objective. And then these four Hellblasters are going to shoot everything into the uh, commandos. Sure. Yeah, uh, it's safety minus five. Yeah. So. Lifts the squad. Okay. There you're off of two objectives. So the Dreadnought then is going to shoot grenade launchers, Gatling cannon, and the rocket pod into the uh, weird, weird boy. Okay. And then uh, the macroplasma incinerator is going into the big guy. Okay. So macroplasma into the incinerator, into the big guy, over, uh, overcharging. On the threes. Or up. Yep. 2d6 shots from the rockets into the weird boy. Or up. Sorry, dude. Five, five, four. It's crazy. Yeah. Sure. Oh, I take two. All right. So I'm gonna command point reroll one of these. Oh! No! Fail, 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 fail! Oh, oh he, does. he does. Woo! Three more points for me. Get out of here, weird boy. Weird boy's down. Weird boy's down. Steve's getting closer. That's three points. Okay. And then into the into the mech, uh, five pistols. Save one, fail one. The mech's down too. Three more points for Steve. Here it goes. Come on, Steve! I believe in Steve. I believe in Steve. I believe in Steve. Okay, so Steve's decided to make a game out of this after all. Um, hmm, I got some uh, deep thinking to do now. I gotta get cunning. Okay, so then I'm going to charge with my Dreadnought into your war boss. Okay. I can do this. Yep. With a... You easily do it. I easily do it. <laughs> On threes. Is it worth this? It's your call. You have an extra dice still in there, though. Oh, whoops. Yeah. Steve's re-rolling, but he's out of command points now, and he needs this. Got it. Does. All five go through. So strength six or toughness six? Toughness six, but I'm strength like 14. Okay. So on twos, threes, because you're minus one. Okay. Rerolling ones. Okay, so four AP minus threes. So four four ups from you. And I'm hoping that I just kick this thing's ass right here and now. You pass them all. Come on! Shh. I'll just play a. Right. You know what? I, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna that hit was you. The, that was the best shot I had. Best now shot I hits, had. Now he hits you back. Yeah, I bet. Here we go. With his huge chopper. Yep. Twos. I get one of them, so three Wait. go through. Oh, yeah, minus four. Turn on yeah. So you bracketed now? Mid bracket? My mid bracket, yeah. So that was actually a really good turn for big. Steve. Like, he did everything he needed to do. Yeah. And he actually managed to claw back a lot of points. He has. He's He only managed five on primary at the start of turn, but he's going to limit James to that as That's well That's the now. key thing. James is only going to score five on primary. So he's really turning this game around, but he needed to do that on turn two, I think, not turn three. This is going to be really hard for him. He's really going to have everything go right here. 
Up to three command points, but only five on primary. Steve really clapped back hard on primary last turn. Let's see how Jame responds. Remember, a key point of this game is how many points you can you score, because that's gonna tie into your overall score for that's winning make this your aggregate, yeah. tournament. Yeah. So it's really important. It's not just important who wins this game, it's important how many points you score. Exactly. And conversely, how many points you deny your opponent. Exactly. Because James is in a place that if he scores well in this game, he can win. He could win the entire tournament, yeah. even though he lost his first game. Absolutely. So it's really gonna depend on how these next couple of turns score out. Let's do it. I'm gonna shoot with this guy's uh, custom Mega Blasta into the Hell Blasters in the building. Okay. He doesn't. Then we're gonna do these Tank Busters. Same target. Oh crap. Come on! Oh, there's a bunch of ones! It's still only two ones. Do it! I one. My dice almost touched the. Uh oh. Okay, go. Charge time. Go, 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 go. The uh, big go bad. Speed the Sorry. big bad boy over here is going to charge into your character. And, wow. And the Redemptor. And the Redemptor? So seven will get you there, which means you need a nine, because you're minus two yep. going through that thing. That's a four. All of it sucks. Here we go. Here we go. Hmm. Fight first. I'm gonna. So want to grow glorious and intervene with your character again? Mm, no, I can't. I'm not. Okay. Gonna, not with the pop carry. Yeah, you do. No, I'm not. Uh, so on force. I none of them. Was still running, so six attacks. My luck is rough. Yeah. Pass one. Mid turn four, and we sit at 59 to 20 in favor of James. He's really got Steve hemmed in with some serious board presence here, and has our man hard up against it. Getting a command point and five primary, see Steve with some difficult choices. I'm gonna spend one command point to give this Dreadnought reroll ones to hit okay. in an aura. Cause I have just this chance to do things properly. Uh, so, end of my movement phase, uh, the, apoth the Apothecary heals one of the Intercessors that is okay. here. Yep. Lieutenant shoots into the this guy, yep. the big dude. Yep. On three, it's not a character. Ah, uh, so I ignore it. Of course. So then these two then will shoot into the Burna boys over here. So on threes, we're rolling once. So there's three dead dudes. Okay, just leave me the, uh, the custom Mega Blaster, please. These guys will shoot into your boss. Save two. Are they just single damage? Yep. Okay, five ups to ignore. I ignore one, it takes one damage. Yep. Uh, the Hell Blasters here sure. into the big guy. Into the five ups, sorry. I don't make any. Okay, well, that's Are good. Are they two damage each? No. They're just single damage? Yeah. Five ups to ignore. I ignore two of them. Sure. Down to seven. Yeah. Is it regular dudes? Yeah. That takes it, down to six. The biker over there is gonna shoot all of its weapons into these grots, the, and then two dead dudes from the Maltos. The lieutenant's going into the big, uh, to the big boss here. Charging? Yeah. Come on in, baby. I gotta do something. And then the uh, intercessors, they'll go in. I'm gonna heroically intervene with this guy into them. I believe sure. I'm well within yeah. three. Yeah, I thought I would be able to kill him with what I was shooting at him, but no. Lieutenant uh, goes into the big guy. Last ditch effort for Steve here. If this Redemptor Dread doesn't pull something off, that's gonna be all she wrote. So you go to five. Okay, and then the uh, intercessors go. Get Good. it. So my one up save goes to a two up. Yeah. Why do you have a one up? Oh, is it because you have a plus one save? No, it's because of the, the relic gives yeah. me plus one armor save and yeah. uh, four up invuln yeah, and really D3 good. mortals on the charge. So good. Uh, so you get to pick your defending unit first. Okay, so I'm gonna go with that war boss now. There's six attacks. I'm going to put three into the Dreadnought. Yeah. And three into that Lieutenant. So Dreadnought first. I made none of them. So three damage. He does not explode. Well, Steve tried really hard. I really thought he might be able to pull it off, but he's got probably too much of an uphill battle at this point. Yeah, unfortunately he only did score five on primary this turn, not 10 like he thought he was gonna score, so. 
Well, I think that, pr unfortunately, I think that pretty much wraps up Steve's chances here. That's gonna be an 84 to 54 point victory for James, Mr. Initiative Jones. All right, it's looking pretty good. My score is not bad, not bad. Cracked 80, there's a chance, there's a chance here. James comes out the victor and a real good chance of winning this entire chance. He's got 151 points. Michael sits at 88, Tygo sits at 80. As we just saw, it's difficult to score primary. He got very fortunate, scored 30 primary in the first two turns on turn two or three, where Steve scored none. So if we have a back and forth trade-off like we just saw, those last couple of turns is exactly what I expect in the next game. I don't know if any of those players at 80 and 88 points are gonna have enough to pass James. I think at 151 points, he's got a real shot to take this. He totally does. And I gotta hand it to Steve. He played a much better game in turn one. Thank you for joining us, guys. We are really excited for game four, coming out in one week. If you can't wait, you can actually watch it on Patreon right now. They yep. get early access and a whole bunch of other amazing benefits like our Discord and behind the scenes and all sorts of stuff like Patreon that. Patreon live streams, works yeah. in progress, we're, all we're sorts of stuff. We, we love that community. We would be excited if you'd join us. It is a primary way of how we actually support this show and uh, keep the lights on, literally. But anyways, we hope to see you next week at the very least for our premiere because we get all the players to try to come and be a part of the live chat and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a ton of fun. We're looking forward to wrapping up this series with you, the season three play on championships. And as we say, there is four games. Four players. But there's only one champion. Play, play on. on. Can I say, was there ever a doubt? <laughs> I love Charlie Browning this thing every year. That's what it feels like. I take a good punt at that football and then Lucy as played by Tack whips it away and I fall straight on my buttocks. Steve played pretty well. I mean, Space Marines are in a rough spot right now. I mean, they're a glass cannon if you've ever seen one. They get out in the open and they just fall. They just fall, fall, fall.